Today is UFC 300, and I got the locks for you. Now, I know most of y'all start from the bottom, so you guys get the most views, but let's start from the top, because the lineup is fire regardless. We got Alex Pereira, I believe an early knockout. The man is going to outstrike him. We knew how Jamal Hill fought Oliveira, who is the coach of Bolton himself. Pereira already hopped on and destroyed two of the top contenders in the weight class already. One who Israel Adesanya couldn't even defeat. Definitely can't go wrong with Wei Lee. The experience is there. The beast mode is there. I have doubted her in the past. I don't see many women in the division getting knockouts like her. Scooping up other females like her. Taking the biggest and baddest contenders to decision just to win. Oh my god, Justin Gaethje is invincible. The man showed his skills with up-and-comer Raphael Faziv, or whatever his name is. Told Dustin Poirier to sit his ass down. And fighting an unbelievable Max Holloway, who's never been knocked out. These guys are going pound for pound. Someone might die in this octagon. And it won't be this guy. I have no idea what the disrespect for Charles Oliveira. He has never disappointed us in the past. And he smacked the sh** out of Benil Dariush, who I already knew was trash. The hype is crazy for Armin. The man hasn't fought anybody. I will say this man has the most impressive career with L's in the beginning and then straight streaks. I will not put my money on either of them. But I will say if he loses tonight, he's about to be the next Peter Yan. Bull Nickel is overhyped. But I will say he's not fighting competition. Cody just had an extravagant last fight that they wanted to hype this up with. There is no hype if the man is negative 2,500. For shits and giggles, I would put some money on Brundage, but I would not touch this fight either. Jiri has been top dog for a while. Both these men are coming off injuries. But you can't fook with ponytail Jiri. 35 fights, 25 of them coming by knockout. This could end early for both boys, but this guy got it. I do believe Aljamain is torash, but I really can't say anything positive about Calvin Carter. We're team Sean O'Malley on this side. Don't even add this guy to the parlays. I'm going to end it here. Don't flop on Kayla Harrison. She's fighting 40-year-old Holly. Shorty needs to retire eventually, even though I always believe experience always comes out the best. But some experience need to throw up the towel. If any of these locks make your pockets fat, hit me with a little tip. Don't sleep on Figueroa. He is moving up in weight, but I can see this guy choking this little man out. Call him Big Daddy after this dub.